In 2010, my retirement from Northrop Grumman only lasted about two months. That's when my friend Nelson Dodge twisted my arm to help out servicing Rogers organs for Church Keyboard Center. In the last five years, I have serviced Rogers organ models ranging in age from 45 years to the current models. While many old models are serviceable, some are not. They enter the twilight zone of disposition which may be the dumpster or possibly repurposed. Here is a Rogers two-manual console that found a purpose as a garden workspace. The electronics from that organ was used as a wall decoration. Here is the brochure of a 1989 Rogers model, one of the last of the line of analog models, as the early 1990s saw the introduction of digital models. Last April, Church Keyboard was asked to remove a Rogers 925 organ from a residence in Orange, California. It was in the home of Arvella and Robert Schuler. It also played five ranks of pipes. After it was removed to the Church Keyboard Center store in Monrovia, Nelson Dodge suggested that it could become a retrofit to an existing pipe organ. I agreed and bought the console with the hope that it could replace the console at Holy Trinity Lutheran. After it was shown to Virginia and Roger Walters, I presented the conversion idea to council for the replacement of the old console. With the approval, I removed all the electronics it had and transported the console to my garage in Moorpark. The Rogers 925 had many more stops than the Holy Trinity organ. So I removed the stop jams and took them to an organ console woodworker. He filled in some of the holes and re-veneered the jam faces. He also made new piston rails for under the keyboards. New color and finish were applied to the new jams, piston rails, and the keyboard cheeks. Now I could start wiring. Meanwhile, William Charles Wood Finishing did a fix-up on the console sides with the help of Quinn Stone. The right side had seriously faded since it was adjacent to a large window at the Schuler residence. Then the process of transferring all of the stop controls and computer elements from the old console to the refurbished console began. By coincidence, this took place at the same time as the organ pipe work was removed for the wall repair work. Finally, the stop faces were attached to the draw knobs. The old console was taken to the dumpster. Then the refurbished Rogers 925 was moved from my garage to the sanctuary. As the refurbished console was now operational, each pipe valve could be played to blow out any remaining dust before the pipes were placed. Finally, all of the pipe work is installed. The organ was very out of tune and the pipes needed to assume room temperature before tuning. A few days later, Lawrence came back to tune every pipe. And once again, wonderful music will be made on the Holy Trinity Church pipe organ. <laughs>